honorable speaker, and members of this august body. This is a rejoinder to the consolidated House Bill 4113 presented by our chair um, to the plenary this afternoon. I authored House Bill number 1644 entitled An Act Increasing the Maternity Leave Period to 100 Days for Female Employees in the Government Service and in the Private Sector and granting an option to extend for an additional 30 days without pay. It is analogous to the draft resolution that I presented to the ASEAN Inter-Parliamentary Assembly in its 37th General Assembly at Naipido, Myanmar, last September 29 to October 3, 2016. As the Philippine representative to the Committee on Women Parliamentarians of ASEAN Inter-Parliamentary Assembly, or AIPA, I advocated for the crafting of enabling national legislation in accordance with international standards on extending maternity protection to working women in ASEAN. Quite significantly, our country's proposed resolution on extending the maternity benefits of working women in ASEAN was adopted and approved by AIPA and marked the first time in 20 years that a proposal from the Philippines was so adopted and approved. It is mainly concerned with the provisions and rights of women to receive health protection, maternity-related benefits and child care facilities at work, including paternity benefits, which encourage fathers to share their responsibilities for the care of children. What with our country hosting ASEAN 2017, today is certainly a most opportune time to hear out the case for extending our country's maternity leave benefits. Sadly though, at the dawn of ASEAN integration, none of the 10 ASEAN member states have ratified the International Labor Organization conventions related to maternity protection numbers 102 and 183. Among seven of the 10 ASEAN member states offering a 100% income replacement or full paid leave, the Philippines, along with Malaysia, performs poorly with a coverage period of only 8.5 weeks. This is way below ELOS, ILO's minimum prescription of 12 to 14 weeks under the ILO Convention 2000's Maternity Protection Number 183. Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, Laos, and Thailand provide 13 weeks leave while Vietnam astounds by having a paid leave of 26 weeks, far above the 18-week minimum of the uh, ILO Convention 2000's Maternity Protection Number 191. Investing on an adequate and effective maternity leave benefit scheme is a good investment for the country. It is essential for the achievement of gender equality, beneficial to the health of both mother and child, and in the long run, advantageous to employers. It will certainly signify that our country follows through with its commitments for solid regional cooperation. Recognizing that Filipino women are an important asset in the empowerment of the ASEAN workforce, may I ask our esteemed members to vote for the passage of this bill. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker.